Hello my lovelies, Sophia here, Psychic Tarot Reader, Personal Mentor. Welcome back to my channel, Sophia Psychic Tarot. So today's video is the daily guidance for the 31st, spooky 31st of October 2020. Happy Halloween, my lovelies. So again, just as I say in every video, like reading your horoscope, sometimes it resonates, sometimes it won't. As long as it helps one person, I'm a happy bunny. So, dear spirit guides and angels, what message do you have for the 31st of October 2020, please? Okay, a couple of things. Either major changes coming in, the end of the old, beginning of the new. It can also mean to cut things out of your life or people out of your life that are no longer serving you or even just your thoughts that are no longer serving you, that are not doing you any good. Um, let's have as it's going to be full moon as well not that we'll probably see it here in the UK because we've got horrible nasty rain okay a time for healing so especially if there are changes happening um, or that you do have to look at your life and make changes somewhere in it Let's see what Archangel Michael says as well. For the, um, my regular viewers and subscribers, I have just put from my other channel, I've just done a video about affirmations um, and I've added it in the Get Them Back playlist if you do want to have a look for those of you who are cutting out negative thoughts and being positive. Admit the truth to yourself and act accordingly. I appreciate your support in helping me face my feelings with grace and acceptance so that I can be lovingly honest with myself and others. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for giving me courage and strength. So again, this can tie into the changes, cutting things out of your life that aren't serving you. Um, healing, taking this time to heal, plat, you know, see where you do want to be going in your life and not where you don't want to be going. And sort of admit the truth to yourself and act accordingly. And break free. Try different ventures and experiences as a way to grow and learn. And see this as a gift. A gift to be able to change your life, change your situation, make the changes that you've wanted to be making. And then you can have abundance come in to you. I just love this card really love that card such a warm you know it fits in as well with this time of year or the autumn the full the lovely full moon that we're about to have the abundance so i am just going to read that for you what card is that 38 take advantage of this time of abundance it is all around you possibility and opportunity are everywhere you are open and responsive to the abundance around you. There is enough for everyone. And the slogan is, I am abundant and I am surrounded by opportunity. So it even, oh, it says it's the hunter moon, actually. I thought it said harvest moon. But, you know, they're saying, you know, take this time to break free. Make those changes in your life. Admit the truth to yourself and act accordingly. You're going to heal from this. It's a time to break free and take a new direction. See this as a gift to yourself and a gift from spirit. Then you can have your abundance. I'm going to bring in a romance angel card that may be relevant to what ties into this or it may be completely separate. Take it as it resonates, my lovelies. Um, let go of control issues. 
allow the situation to unfold naturally. So as I say in the Get Them Back playlist, when we are trying to control and react to get a reaction, it usually goes wrong. When you create in your mind what you want, okay, and allow things to unfold naturally, knowing that what you want is going to happen, admitting the truth to yourself, knowing that abundance is coming, that changes are coming, then things will change. But again, you can go and check out the Get Them Back playlist for that. So I hope this guidance helps somebody out there. Have a lovely Halloween. Love and light.